What is up, Giants fans? Back at it with another New York Giants video. And this video is going to be about Dave Gettleman and kind of talking about, you know, evaluating the, you know, the stuff he's done here. And just, I just want to give Dave Gettleman credit uh, on how well, you know, he has done with this New York Giants team. And he rebuilt, he, he rebuilt this team correctly. Now, it didn't look pretty. He, the moves he made were questionable at the time being when it happened. But if you look back now, you look at the players he signed, you look at the guys he drafted, it has all turned out well for the New York Giants, and you start, you're starting to see the New York Giants finally turn the corner. And um, by the way, before I get into the whole Dave Gettleman situation, I want to give him credit. Before I get, uh, get into that, the Washington football team just beat the undefeated Steelers. What? The one time we needed Pittsburgh to lose so we can take uh, you know the game lead in the division— the Steelers lose their first game of the season. What in the hell are the odds of that? Even when the Giants start to turn the corner, they still have bad luck. What are the odds of that? The one time we need Steelers to win after they win the first 11 games, now they lose to the Washington football team of all teams. Sometimes you just can't predict sports. But anyway, I want to give a shout out to Dave Gellman. He has done a great job with this Giants team. I want to start off with the NFL draft. His first draft was in 18, I believe. I think I believe when he drafted Saquon. Obviously, he hasn't panned out the way we wanted. Had a fantastic rookie season. And then the next two years, the past two years, he has been extremely injury-prone and really hasn't seen the field that much. And you could, you know, you could. I, I don't think it's, you know, that bad to say Saquon Barkley has been a bust. Now, we all know his talent. We all know, you know, how good of a player he can be. But again, if you're not healthy, what's the point? So, but again, I think we all know Barkley's talent. When he's on the field, he's an elite weapon. So I'm not going to say he's a bust, but... You know, he has been injured the past two years, but, you know, that's nothing Dave Gettleman, you know, can control, so I'm not going to blame him for that. Uh, I never hated the Barkley pick. You know, we were 3-13 and the previous year. We were picking second. He was the most talented player on the board. We drafted him. I didn't really have a, you know, I didn't really complain about that pick. And then last year, he took Daniel Jones. It was a highly, voice crack, it was a highly scrutinized pick. Everybody hated it. It seemed extremely stupid at the time, including myself. It seemed, it seemed ex extremely stupid at the time. I wanted Dwayne Haskins. Boy, was I wrong. Uh, Dwayne Haskins has not been a success, you know, has not been successful in the NFL. I wanted him in the draft. I, surprisingly, I actually wanted Dwayne Haskins in the, you know, in the draft that year. I regret saying that. But we took Daniel Jones at six. We could have taken Josh Allen. We took Daniel Jones. And I'm going to come out and say, I think he's been a success for the Giants. Now, even though he had that rough stretch in the beginning of the season, had a great rookie season last year on a horrible, horrible team, and, you know, has started to play well the past couple games. Now, I know it's been against bad teams, but we know Daniel Jones's potential. We know he could be a good quarterback in the NFL. If he doesn't turn the ball over, he can be a very good quarterback in the NFL. So I don't hate the Daniel Jones pick. I really don't. Earlier, if you're, talk if you're talking to me earlier in the year, I'd say I hated, you know, I, I hated it. But now, I'm starting to like it. I'm starting, I was wrong with Daniel Jones. I'll admit, I was wrong about Daniel Jones. I'm starting to like Daniel Jones again. He's starting to seem like, you know, the rookie year Daniel Jones. So I'm, I'm definitely happy about that, you know, besides the fumbles. Um, he's starting to, you know, play better of late. Sucks that he got injured. Let's hope he's back next week, by the way. Um, the defensive players, guys like Leonard Williams, it was a highly, you know, questionable signing. A lot of people say, you know, we gave Leonard Williams too much money. Gettleman went out and signed him. Uh, and didn't do, wasn't great, you know, in his first season, but this year he has been an animal. He's been great for the Giants. And now every Giants fan who criticized Dave Gettleman for signing him for too much, you know, they didn't like the contract, you know, when they first signed him. Everybody criticized Dave Gettleman for it. What are they going to say now? Leonard Williams has been a beast for the New York Giants. He's, he's been a Pro Bowl type player. James Bradbury, another signing a lot of people didn't like because he was a veteran. Look at the way he's been playing this year. He's been our best player this year. He's been amazing for the Giants. He's been great. Blake Martinez, another guy. A lot of people wanted, you know, a better linebacker than him. You know, the, the more sexy linebacker, I guess. Blake Martinez, I think, led the league in tackles with the Packers, comes over to the Giants, and has been a very good player. Another guy, let's hope he's healthy for next week. Blake Martinez has been very good for the Giants. A lot of people criticized Dave Gettleman for that signing, too. You know, all of the Dave Gettleman signings that were criticized, everybody liked to criticize Gettleman. Look at the signings now. This Giants team is complete. This Giants team has a direction. They have an identity. They have a good head, co a good uh, head coach. I forgot to mention he hired a great coaching staff. Patrick Graham's been one of the most underrated. I think, in my opinion, is one of the most underrated defensive coordinators in football. He's been great for the Giants. The Giants have one of the most underrated defenses in the NFL. Guys like um, Dave, what, what's his name? Dave Duglielmo. I don't know how to say his name, but the offensive line coach we hired. 
ever since he came over, the offensive line has been great, especially a guy like Andrew Thomas, another guy he drafted who is starting to play a lot better of late. Shout out to a Andrew Thomas. Um, who else? Shane Lemieux. Darn a Shane Lemieux's played, you know, fair for the Giants. Matt Pert's played well. Darnay Holmes has played well. You know, he, he, I mean, I would say he's played well. He's played pretty decent for the Giants. He had an interception against the Seahawks. Um, Xavier McKinney. Sucks that he got hurt. Hadn't really seen much of him yet, but I think we all know the potential of him. He was supposed to be a first-round draft pick. The Giants got a steal in the second round. He's going to be a stud for the Giants when he's healthy. I mean, Dave Gettleman, if you really think about it, the signings were, you know, scrutinized when they first happened. But if you look at the signings now, he has done a fantastic job for this Giants team. The, ha the Dave Gettleman haters are pretty silent right now. I was never a big Dave Gettleman guy, you know. But he got dragged into a really bad situation. And he's come in as the Giants GM. Didn't look good early. But now he is going to be the GM of the future for this team. He has built a very good Giants team. He hired a good coaching staff. And this Giants team has a bright, bright future ahead of them. And this Giants team might make the playoffs this year, a year that was supposed to be re rebuilding. I know they play in a weak division, but this was supposed to be a rebuilding year. They could make the playoffs. Hell, maybe they can win a round. Who knows? They beat the Seahawks on the road. They could play them. If, it, if the season ended today, they'd play them at home. They could beat the Seahawks. They definitely could. This defense is incredible. We have one of the most underrated defenses in the league. You could argue it may be even a top seven defense in the NFL. I don't know the exact numbers, but this Giants defense is definitely top 10. It's been fantastic this year. All the signings he made have didn't look good early. Didn't, you know, when, he, when it first happened, the signings looked stupid. But now they look pretty smart, in my opinion. I wanted to give Dave, you know, Dave Gettleman a shout-out because the Giants are starting to return the corner, and I just needed to give a shout-out to our general manager. The Dave Gettleman haters are pretty silent right now. He's done a great job for this Giants team. I, I don't really care what anybody says. He has done a great job for this Giants team, and I think he's one of the main reasons why this Giants team is starting to turn the corner. And I love the, the, the direction this Giants team is headed in. I probably brought him up in the um, the Giants have the brightest future in the NFC East video I made a couple days ago. I probably brought you know brought his name. If I didn't, I, I, I don't know if I brought his name up in the video. I don't know if I gave him a shout-out. But if I didn't, here's the video. I'm giving a shout-out to Dave Gettleman of the job he has done with this New York Giants team. He's done a great job, and uh, I hope he keeps doing it moving forward. So that's going to do it for this video. I want to know your thoughts on Dave Gettleman. Want to know your thoughts on the Washington and Steelers game. I cannot believe Washington won that game. Division's interesting now. That This was a huge game for the Giants. And if Washington loses, we have a game lead plus the tiebreaker. Now it's tied. We're still in first place technically because of the tiebreaker. The two wins we have against them. But Washington has a softer schedule than we do. Washington has a softer schedule upcoming. Giants got to find ways to win. Don't focus on them. Fo let's just focus on the Giants right now. Don't let this, you know, don't let this get you down, Giants fans. We still can win this division. And even if we tie, we still own the tiebreaker. So, Giants fans, don't get too down on this. Don't say, oh, the division's over. You know, the Redskins or Washington has a weaker schedule upcoming. Washington's going to win the division. Don't say that. This Giants team has fight. This Giants team's not giving up on the division. This Giants team can and, and can and I think will make the playoffs in 2021. Don't give up, Giants fans. Don't give up. So that's going to do it. For this video, if you, what are your thoughts on Dave Gettleman, the job he's done here? I've been really impressed uh, with Dave Gettleman. I want to know your thoughts down in the comments below. What are your thoughts on the Washington and Steelers game? Put it down in the comments below. So that's going to do it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Talk to you guys next time. Let's go Giants.